Hello, welcome to the Mad Butter channel. My name's Chris. In my recent memo about the new masking functions in Lightroom Classic, and in particular intersecting masks, I explained that there was no intersect mask button or function in forms of Lightroom other than Lightroom Classic, i.e. Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. In this video, I'm going to show you how the workaround so you can create intersect masks in those forms of Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom with a plain grey image. Now let's say we wanted to mask an area which is the central segment of a circle. So first of all we need to go into the masking function and we'll grab the radial gradient and we'll draw a radial gradient and if you hold down the shift key you get a perfect circle then we'll move that into the centre and reduce the feathering to zero. Now, we, what we want to do is then just mask a central bit of this. And that would be ideal if you had an intersecting function. You could just draw a radial grains across here to intersect and you'd just be left with the central bit. But as you can see, there is no intersect function here. So the workaround is to use a subtract so we'll get a subtract mask radial gradient and we'll draw a gradient like that move it to the center reduce the feathering to zero and maybe we'll rotate it a little bit so what we've now got, as you can see from the red overlay, is those bits of the circle that we don't want, whereas we want the central bit. So the way around that is just to right click and invert the gradient. So now we have just the central bit of the circle. You can see that this makes some sense. Here we have the original bit, and if we just want the central bit, that will be ideal for an intersect mask but as we don't have that the alternative is to use a subtract mask and we subtract that bit of the circle that we want eventually want to retain and then invert so that what we're effect doing is subtract, subtracting the bits that we don't want let's have a look at this in a practical context by editing a photo so here we are now with an image that we want to adjust and what I want to do is to dampen down the background highlights but not affect the little apple and my thumb. And I would also suggest when you're looking at making a complex mask you first see what select subject will actually give you. And in this case it gives me my thumb and the apple which is ideal. Now, we first need to invert this selection. So we have everything in the background. And now what we want to do is to isolate this selection to just the brighter parts. We could use an intersecting mask. We would use an intersecting luminance range mask and select the bright parts of the background. But as we can't do that, we'll have to use a subtract luminance range mask and then invert it to give us what we want. So we go to subtract luminance range and then we'll just select the brightest parts of the background like that. So as you can see now, the mask covers all the darker parts of the background which is the opposite of what we want so we go into the luminance mask right click and invert so now we've just got the brighter bits now this bar here adjusts what the luminance range is so if we move this down we're going to catch more and more and more so we need to restrict it to just the bright parts and then this is the feather function so if we have no feathering it's very sharp so we need to feather it a bit. Now you can see we're also masking some of the leaves up here which is what I don't want. So now we can add another 
subtract mask by a brush and we can start we'll make the brush bigger the right bracket key let's just get rid of this advert and then we can start lessening the luminance mask effect on these leaves okay so we'll leave the bright background up in the corner here so that should be about right so now we're ready to do the adjustment so we'll start by reducing the height Oops. start by reducing the highlights and the whites add a bit of contrast and maybe a small reduction in exposure so there that's what we want to achieve so that's what we had before and that's what we've got now you can see the bright bits of the background have gone but the rest of the image is hardly affected at all so that's how you do an intersecting mask in Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. <laughs> Hopefully you found that useful and thanks for watching.